Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. I hope you're all doing well. Um, there was a video, uh, an interview, in fact, between uh, Danny Flexen and um, Ben Shalom, and I thought it was quite interesting because Ben Shalom talked. It was a lengthy video. Ben Shalom talked extensively. Did I should I say extensively? It was actually a few minutes, but it was quite revealing because he talked about Adam Smith. Now we all know that Adam Smith long-term servant with Sky Sports, uh, a guy who really, um, you know, knows a lot about boxing. I mean, people make fun of Adam Smith, but I don't think it's very fair because I know he's kind of like Mr. Bean. He's a Mr. Bean sort of figure and everyone says, oh, you know, everyone laughs at him and, you know, when he's commentating, he gives it all the, all the cliches and yeah, okay, I get it. He can be a little irritating perhaps, but he does know boxing and he has been a great servant to boxing, you know, Sky in particular, he's, he's been with Sky for about 30 years, or getting on for 30 years, um, now I think he, he's a loss to boxing, the fact that he's still ill, apparently, they say he's ill, Shalom said that, and Shalom spoke very, very highly of him, and he was saying, um, you know, I want him back, I hope he'll eventually return when he's well enough, and <sighs> is this just lip service, I did hear through Grapevine, you know, certain people who know People who worked for Sky who said that there was friction between Ben Shalom and Adam Smith, and but Ben Shalom is speaking highly of him. And the one one thing occurred to me, and that is that I just wonder what would have happened if Adam Smith had stayed with Sky, had not gotten ill, had, had not left, and had continued working with Shalom. Now it obviously could go one or two ways. If there were tensions, they could have accelerated and grown, and there could have been a power play between the two. But let's say they settled down. And let's say that, you know, Smith with his input and his guidance and so on and so forth had, had helped the inexperienced Shalom to, you know, ply the trade. Perhaps Smith could have, you know, given him advice on how to how to stack cards. I mean, don't forget, he worked with Eddie Hurd and Match very, very successfully for, for nearly 10 years. He must have, of course, he learned things, and he he would have he could have maybe guided Shalom and, you know, said, okay, we need a, you know, that's a good, that's a really good headline, but we need some below, you know, and maybe he could have guided him into guided him into signing fighters who would have been, you know, B level fighters, but still entertaining and for matchmaking. Perhaps he could have helped him with that, and because Shalom is experienced, and he admitted it in this interview, so I think it's a great shame that Shalom didn't have. Adam Smith's knowledge to sort of tap into. Okay, he's young, he's ambitious, he's probably sees when you go into the business, any business, you see things through rose tinted specs. He he would have said, I've got this vision, I want to do this. But sometimes you need someone to put the brakes on. And I just wonder if Adam Smith working with Shalom, maybe Ben would have benefited from a little bit of like an older, wiser head, someone who's been there, done it many, many times. Um, and of course, Adam could have helped with the promotional side of things because he's worked for Sky for so long and he knows the how the game is played. So yeah, I think that's a shame. I think I'm curious to know how they how they how it would have panned out because there's no doubt that you know there was the farce with Fraser Clark and Fabio Wardley, that whole you know purse bid thing. And um, Adam could definitely have helped him avoid that. He could have maybe mediated between two five eight management and Ben Shalom and you know Boxer. Um, and then there were, you know, I mean, the cards, the recent couple of, a couple of the cards, certainly the recent ones have been flat. There's, there's really nothing going on. There were too many, you know, youngsters against journeymen where you know the result before it's started. And that was the strength when Hearn, especially in the early years, when he was at Sky, he put on stacked cards. And they weren't always A-grade fighters, but the matchups were so good that you just knew that you know you're gonna you're gonna get entertainment, and that is what that's what that's what it's all about entertainment. Look at bo look at boxers recent two recent signings, Lawrence Acoli and J Joshua Boazzi. I mean, Acoli's lost his title and looked appalling in both of the fights. The one with David Light and when he lost the title to Billum Smith, Joshua Boazzi, who was you know you were beginning to think this guy's a real killer early on in his career. A very flat performance, a very sort of pedestrian performance. Um, and Sky and Boxer and Shalom are not winning fans. I just think that with with uh, 
like I say, the older, wiser head to tap into. Um, maybe, maybe it would have been a different story. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Uh, I always like enjoy reading your comments. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe. That'd be great. And of course, uh, as I always say, hit the like button if you like the video. Spread the word about Joe's Stun Unboxing. We need more people on the channel. Build the numbers up. And uh, once again, thanks very much. Uh, we'll speak again soon.